Sure. As media has become more and more complex and new platforms are emerging, new formats are emerging, not all impressions are the same, right? So not all media impressions are the same or the same price, the same value or the same effectiveness. And I think what we have been searching for um, is really a way to gauge the quality of impressions and their ability to keep the consumer's attention um, to allow us to convey that message more effectively. Um, you know, in, a, in an older world and maybe a TV-led world, all impressions were quite similar, but in the digital world, they're not. Um, so we need another variable outside of reach and cost, and that's really to measure the quality of the impression. Um, and we believe that attention can be that, pow that powerful measure to uh, decipher which impressions are more valuable than others. Well, that brings me to my next question, which is, you know, why why isn't it enough just to measure an impression or ensure that impre an impression was delivered? Isn't it challenging to actually know whether somebody actually paid attention to your messaging or they're maybe they're walking out of the room, uh, you know, going to the fridge, that kind of thing? Yeah, I, I think we've always want to make sure that we get what we pay for, right? And that's measuring of the impression but as as prices have you know fragmented um and as the quality of media has kind of really evolved um we it's just not enough to say the impression was delivered or not right because um there are some really you know efficient media vehicles out there and expensive media vehicles out there and if we can put an effectiveness measure on that price it's an opportunity for us to really weigh the quality and the cost in a way that's more relative and valuable, right? So, um, and also to get to the root cause of the, the root ambition of what our campaign is trying to do or an advertising campaign is trying to do, which is, are we effectively engaging with the consumer in a positive way and one that's seamless with the content um, that it's being consumed with, uh, right? So it's, it's, it's an opportunity for us to really create a more positive and effective experience for the consumer with our advertising. It, I, you know, I think what we're, we're striving for here is not to, to make it less transactional, really, and to make it more about effectiveness. And that's really, are we weaning and keeping the attention of the consumer? Now, um, as far as measuring attention, uh, well, m and Mars, I'm sure you have decades of historical data going back or going back decades. <laughs> um, and. So what kinds of metrics do you use and how do you incorporate attention metrics into those? Yeah, so we have, I think we have layers of measurement now to build confidence and uh, really to verify uh, the measures in, in, a, in a holistic way in terms of, you know, building our business to all the way down to a granular execution way, right? So we have MMM studies that tell us how we're doing from an overall perspective and a complete touch point. Um, all the touch points we have with consumers, what's, what's driving what effectiveness. But those are econometric models. They're very big and broad and not very granular. So you have to go layers deeper. And what we then do is have layers of closed loop studies or sales list studies in now many markets to say which platforms, which variables are, uh, and what, you know, what key learning agenda items are, uh, can we decipher on what the relative ROI or effectiveness of each of those are. So those kind of validate and really build more granularity onto the MMM studies. Where attention kind of sits us down even at the executional level, can we optimize campaigns while in flight in real time with measures that are correlated to success? And we believe attention is one of those measures for us where we can measure and optimize campaigns. We use attention already to optimize our creative, right? So we, we, we use pretest uh, measures that um, to see if that, you know, with eye recognition and things like that, if, if our creative is holding the consumer's attention and dragging and bringing them into the things that we want them to focus on. But we also want to do it from a contextual standpoint. Is the media that we're advertising in allowing us to hold their attention? Is it, is it allowing us to get the, the value that we're trying to get with our ad placements, right? So that's uh, with that three level system of measurement, right? From a holistic campaign specific um, you know, tactic measurement to real-time campaign optimization. Attention kind of sits in that lower bucket that's really more granular. And we're starting to see that it is correlated to business effects or, be or sales lift, right? So it's a, it's a correlated measure that allows us to make decisions off of. 
Now, looking ahead, let's say to the next six months to a year, is there anything that you're really excited about, particularly in the the realm of attention, or perhaps anything you'd like to see? Well, I think I think attention's still coming to um, you know fruition. It's it's still it has a tremendous amount of buzz around it right now, and there's a lot of obviously uh, vendors focused on it, and we're and we're partnering with some of them. Uh, so that one I think is well on its way, and we're you know we're putting more campaigns uh, um, um, in the attention measurement suite, so to speak. But uh, I think, you know, going forward, I think what we're seeing now is a lot of momentum, measurement focus, agency capability, uh, and energy towards cross-media measurement and, and really reach, uh, you know, holistic meet, uh, plan optimization, things that we used to be able to do more in the past, but have, 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 we've had now barriers that restrict our ability to, to look at reach an optimization and campaign effectiveness holistically. So we're starting, to, you're starting to hear more about cross media measurement and things like that. And that's being spurred by the WFA and the ANA, as well as our agency partners. Um, and we're making progress there. And I think there's a lot of good momentum that's building there now. 